children how are you all welcome to the maths class of standard 3 i am shweta and today i am going to start a very new chapter that is geometry and this is chapter number 7 in your course book so this is the video number 1 of this chapter so this is a very new topic geometry what do you mean by geometry actually geometry is made up of two word okay two greek word that is geo and metron what does this meaning geo geo means earth okay and metron means measurement so together it means measuring any shapes on the earth okay here in the geometry we will learn about the different shapes that we can find in the earth okay now geometry is divided into two parts plane geometry and solid geometry geometry all of you understood in the geometry we are just going to learn about the measurement of different shapes that we can find on earth okay the same geometry is divided into two types plane geometry and solid geometry okay what does this mean plane geometry plane geometry is 2d in shape 2d means two dimensional okay and solid geometry is 3d in shape 3d means three dimensional okay. in this class basically you have to learn about the solid geometry but before starting the solid geometry we will just revise the plane geometry okay plane geometry means the shapes that are two dimensional two dimensional means what as you can see i have some shapes which shape is this very good square this one circle this is rectangle yes and this is triangle so these shapes are two dimensional shape first let me paste this shapes here so these shapes are 2d shapes means it has only two dimension the length and height okay and these shapes we can easily draw on a sheet of a paper solid geometry is three dimensional in shape three dimensional means what it has the length the height and also the breadth okay not like the plane figures the plane figure we can easily draw on a sheet of papers it has only two dimension okay the height and the length but the solid shapes are of three dimension it has also the length height and breadth these are called the solid figures okay so in this class you have to learn about the solid figures okay so in solid figures we will learn about three different types of surfaces okay what is surface the top of anything is called the surface like if you have dining table in your home then the top of the dining table is the surface of that okay so in the solid uh, solid shapes we will learn about three different types of surfaces the first one is plane surface what is plane surface like i have shown here this is the example of cuboid okay so the top of the cuboid is plane okay so the surface surface of this cuboid is plane similarly like that you can also see the floor of your home this is also plane the surface is plane okay now the another kind of surface is curved surface as you can see here i have a ball so this ball is curved in surface if you will touch it it is not plane in any manner wherever you will touch it is curved okay so the ball the orange the globes these are the examples of curved shapes now the third type of shape surface is plane and curved surface like you can see this this is a powder and this is a marker okay both of these are the examples of plane and curved surface how you can see this one this side is curved in shape okay but the top and bottom is flat in shape okay 
So this is flat surface. The top and bottom is flat in surface, while the this area is curved surface. Similarly, like this also. This is in the middle. This is curved surface, and in top and bottom it has plane surface. Okay. So these three are clear. The plane surface, curved surface, and plane and curved surface. So all the three dimensional shapes all the solid shapes have either plane curved or plane and curved surfaces okay now we will learn about the faces edges and vertices of solid figures like here i have drawn a cube shape cube shape this is the cube shape in the cube shape every face is square you can see this one is also square this one is also a square similarly like that all the faces are square in shape okay now it has six square flat faces six faces it has six faces 1 2 3 4 okay five and six four sides and one in the bottom and one in the top you can see these are the six faces of this cube now it has 12 edges edges means side this is called the edges so this cube has 12 edges how 1 2 1 2 3 4 4 4 then 5 6 7 8 and after that 9 10 11 12 12 so a cube has 12 edges means 12 sides okay after that a cube has eight vertices vertices means corner this is called vertices the corner okay so it has eight vertices 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 understood so this is the description of cube you have to write these things so just pause this video and write these things in your maths copy now here i have drawn drawn a cuboid okay cuboid it is similar like cube but rectangle in shape okay in cuboid every face is rectangle you can see this one is rectangle this one is rectangle this one is rectangle okay so every face is rectangle this is also rectangle okay A cuboid has six rectangle flat faces. These are the six rectangle flat faces. After that, twelve edges. Edges means sides. It also have similarly like that cube. It also have twelve edges and eight vertices. Vertices means this corner. Okay. This is this cuboid have eight vertices. Okay. Some examples of cuboid are duster, tiffin box, pencil box, bricks. These are the examples of cuboid. So just pause this video and write these things also in your maths copy. The third type of solid shapes are a sphere. Like this, you can see a sphere is all round. From wherever you will see this, this is round. Okay? It has only one face. it has only one face that is curved face okay now a sphere has one curved face zero edges as you can see there are not any sides and zero vertices which also don't have any corners it has only one curved face okay so just pause this also and write this in your maths copy now the fourth type of solid shape is cone it has one plain face and one curved face as you can see this is a cone this is the curved face okay wherever you will see this is curved only and this is plain face okay so this one plain face and one curved face it it has one vertex corner is called vertex okay so it has one vertex and one edge the sides one edge okay so just pause this and write these things in your maths copy now we will look for the last 
solid shape that is cylinder shape okay it looks like this okay in cylinder two faces are plane and one face is curved as you can see the top and bottom face is plane while the middle this area is curved face now a cylinder has three faces as you can see two faces one two and this one is three three faces two edges two edges are there first one this edge and second one this edge zero vertices vertices means vertex means the corner you can see any corner here no this cylinder shape has zero vertex so just pause this also and write these things also in your maths copy okay so according to the shapes solid shapes that i already have taught you here i have given some questions okay so we will just try to find out the answer of these questions this is of this these questions are of set exercise 7a okay what we have to do give one word answer we have to write only one word answer here a solid which has three faces so if you have remembered that cylinder shape has three faces one two and three two flat faces and one curved face so here we will write the answer cylinder okay now the second question is a solid which has one face okay a solid which has one face so if you have remembered the things the solid shapes that i have i already have taught you in that i have told that the sphere shape has only one face one curved face so here we will write a sphere okay now a solid which has one edge okay so if you have remembered while showing you the cone i have told you the cone has only one edge this is the only one edge so here we can write cone okay now a solid which has two edges so if you have if you have remembered why teaching this only the cylinder shape i have told you the cylinder has two edges these are the two edges so here again we will write cylinder okay and the last question is solid which has one vertex cone only have one vertex this one is the one vertex so the one vertex we can find it cone so here we can write cone okay so i hope all the things all the solid shapes are very much clear to you so just pause this video and write these works works also in your 